morning Cougars, I'm Lauren and this is your Cougar Campus News. The Winter Formal is coming up. Don't miss out on this fun event simply because you have unserved attentions. You have several chances to serve those attentions on Wednesday and Friday mornings and afternoons. Take care of them now so you can make memories at the 2020 Winter Formal on February 1st. Hey Cougars, Say Yes to a Prom Dress is back and they're getting ready for Prom 2020. Did you go to prom last year? Do you have a formal dress that you probably won't wear again? Say Yes to a Prom Dress would love to have your used dress to give to someone else to wear and love this year. There's no need to spend a bunch of money on a dress when they can give you one for free. Please see the posters around campus and in the admin building for drop-off locations. If you are interested in one of their giveaway events, the first one is January 25th from 1 to 5 p.m. at Fit Studio. Students and staff, we will be hosting students from France from February 10th to the 23rd, and we need families to host them. This is a great opportunity to make a new friend and get invited to France in the future. A representative will be here in the library on January 28th at 6 p.m. to answer any and all questions. Parents and students are invited to come and ask questions. Please see Ms. Reikabush in C4 for more information. Now that we are a couple weeks into the new year, have you thought about your New Year's resolutions? Here's Emma and Haley with this special report. Hi, I'm here with Amy and Nina. What was your guys' New Year's resolution? Um, mine was to bring water to school at the end. Hi, I'm here with Abby. What was your New Year's resolution? Um, to eat more healthy and just have no enemies in 2020. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liv. Audrey. I'm Melissa. What's your guys' New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to think more positively, take more time for myself, and I really just think more. I'm to try to get like eight hours of Hi, I'm here with Todd. Um, what was your New Year's resolution? Um, to eat more chicken. One of my New Year's resolutions is to be more sustainable to help out the environment. Mr. Ward is looking for a few more students to join the Blue Blanket Improv team to raise money for student scholarships. Students can earn community service hours and have loads of fun. Please see Mr. Ward in C8 if you're interested. The GSA is going on a field trip to the museum in the Castro on Friday the 24th. We have a few extra spots available. If you're interested in going, please see Mrs. Kendall in K2 for a permission slip. Calling all big sisters and little sisters. We will be taking our club picture this Friday, January 17th in the quad at the beginning of lunch. Remember, this Friday in the quad at lunch. And now here's the sports news. The varsity boys wrestling team competed in Gilroy over the weekend at the Burt Mar Invite. The team placed sixth as several boys earned their very first varsity medal. Bo Belinsky Krug smashed his way to the finals and placed second. Fernando Diaz Marquez also placed second, while Nicholas Mandujano and Jesus Chavarin placed sixth. The JV boys wrestled in the Los Gatos, Frosh Soft tourney, and four Cougars placed and medaled. Mark Rios placed fourth, Hamilas Ruby placed seventh, Samson Valinsky Krug was consolational champ, and Tony Rivas placed eighth. The girls wrestling team competed in the two-day Napa tournament, placing 11th as a team. Top wrestlers were Yesenia Covarrubias, who won three matches, Taylor McAuliffe, Leonor Sarabia, Alessandra Morales, Sandra Sanchez, Esme Mendez, and Jacqueline Miguel Dolores and Elisa Mendez each won two matches. Way to go, Cougars. If you're interested in playing boys volleyball, there will be a meeting on Tuesday at the beginning of lunch. All interested athletes must attend or contact Coach Ryan to confirm interest in participation. Anyone interested in playing boys tennis, please attend a mandatory meeting this Thursday right after school at the tennis courts. And now here's Mr. Olson with the daily trivia. For you fit period classes, the answer to our question from last Thursday about government, the uh, answer was Speaker of the House. Yeah, the uh, person behind the president, 
and then the vice president to assume the Oval Office as the Speaker of the House. And it wasn't one of our government teachers that was the fastest dancer. We offer congratulations to math teacher, Mr. Hees. Now today we have a question sent in from Mr. Agundes, and the category is the Oscar nominations. Watch your email for the question from me and have a terrific Tuesday. Half Moon Bay High School.